Number 5. Snake Venom. I don't know how to feel about this one, honestly. I've watched the Vice documentary about this guy. His name is Steve Ludwin, and he's been injecting snake venom for 20 years. He takes the snake venom and dilutes it a lot so it can be injected. Obviously, he's built up an immunity to the venom, but he still has to be careful. Steve claims that doing this provides him with a euphoric and alert high that lasts for days, and that it also has anti-aging properties. I mean, I can't argue with him. He's in his late 40s but looks 20 years younger. Maybe he's onto something. Number 4. Crocodile. Crocodile. That kind of sounds like crocodile, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's because it means crocodile in Russian. This drug is by far the most disgusting I've seen. And I'm not going to show pictures of the wounds of the users of this drug, mainly because it's some of the most disgusting stuff I've ever seen. And I'm sure you guys don't want to see a person with half their arm rotting off. This drug is horrible and trust me, I've watched a lot of drugs inc. Anyways, what this horrible drug is, is basically a cheaper version of heroin, synthesized from paint thinner, codeine, and red phosphorus. This basically means that it has all the dangers of meth with the addictiveness of heroin. And your skin starts to look like a crocodile, all while turning black and rotting off. Disgusting, I know. Number 3. Pruno. Well, I guess the criminals found a loophole again. If you're looking to get tipsy all while being a prison inmate, Here's your way. You're gonna need to get some apples, candy, ketchup, milk, and bread, all to have it ferment, so you can have an alcoholic concoction with 14% alcohol. It's called Pruno, and apparently it tastes like complete trash. Like it should. If you're making ketchup and candy wine out of a plastic bag, I imagine it would taste horrible. Number 2. Compressed air. People huffing paint, glue, and other fumes has been going on for years. But this one surprised me. People huffing dust off? Damn. Some people must really want to get high. But huffing computer cleaner? Really? The worst part is it's completely illegal and anyone can get a hold of it. And if you do manage to get a hold of it and end up huffing this stuff, you'll get lungs full of gas, a damaged brain, and a heart that doesn't work. Sounds great, doesn't it? Number 1. Drinking reindeer urine. This is ridiculous. Drinking some reindeer urine to get high? I mean, come on. Are you that desperate? Anyhow, what people from Scandinavia did before you could buy drugs from the guy standing on the corner of the street is drink the urine of reindeer who ate fly agaric mushrooms. Yeah, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but it does make sense. Kind of. The science behind this says that when the reindeer would eat these hallucinogenic mushrooms, they would metabolize the mushrooms in the urine. If you wanted to get high off these mushrooms without dying from the side effects, you had to have something metabolize them so it wouldn't be dangerous. And I guess some reindeer would be the perfect candidate. 